Welcome everyone to this new episode of Cold Email Teardowns, where we tear down your cold emails to help your business grow. The concept is simple. You send us your cold email and we invite a cold email expert to tear down and write it again. Today, I'm very happy to welcome Sasha, CEO at Growthroom. Sasha, can you tell us a bit more about who you are and what do you do at Growthroom? Hello, Lady BF. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I'm Sasha, a French guy uh, from Nice. I founded Growthroom, which is a growth marketing agency, and we help companies building the most efficient uh, outbound process. It's basically through cold emailing, but also with LinkedIn and HubSpot. And we are 25 and our headquarters are in Paris. Well, very happy to have you. On today's episode, we're going to break down a cold email sent by a Danish marketing agency that outreaches e-commerce companies. So let's check it out together. Their goal was to book discovery calls with Prospect. So the content of the email goes like this. Hi, first name, Icebreaker. I was so interesting. That does not sound right, but okay. And I started to research more about company name and that led me to this question. What is your marketing strategy and do you know how to scale online? I own zero loss agency in Denmark, meaning if we do not perform for your business, we will simply refund you our fee. Currently, our clients are receiving an average ROI return on investment of 6.47%. We'd love to tell you how we can do the same for your business or at least give you some cost-free advice. Are you available for a quick call this week or next week? I leave the choice to you here. Have a great day. Signature. Okay. I am curious to know what are your first thoughts, Sasha? Yeah. So actually, yeah, there is a t the typo uh, at the beginning of the email. Uh, the email has actually the good sizing. It's not really long and sentence, sentences sorry, are quite short. So that's a good thing. But there, there are some insights uh, that, we can, uh, that we can find on that. So I'm not a native English speaker, as you can see with my French accent, but I already see some faults. For example, I was so interesting and I started. So I was so interested or it was so interesting. Uh, the prospect will only see a few sentences from you. So basically, you have to make it perfectly written. Otherwise, it's, no, it's a no-brainer for the prospect and he will delete uh, the, the, the email. Insight number two, um, I'm not a fan of generic questions such as what is your marketing strategy and do you know how to scale online? Uh, what is your business? It's too generic and wide actually for prospects uh, and they don't want to answer that because they are receiving lots of cold emails with this kind of, uh, uh, of questions. So I would do only one question on a cold email. Uh, in this case, only the question at the end for the availability, because there are two questions on this, uh, on this email that you just read. Uh, but if you really want to open with a questions, with questions, sorry, do it with something more precise and relevant. Uh, for example, if it's a real estate company, uh, we know that it's quite hard with the crisis in France, uh, uh, and the price uh, of buildings, etc. You can write a question like, did you manage to find other acquisition channel since the crisis and since the rise uh, of the cost acquisition uh, uh, and the cost per clicks, for example? And this is a precise question. And actually you are uh, uh, talking about a problem that the company already has. So it's really important uh, for you uh, to be relevant on that. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the second insight. The third insight, um, if I jump on the, on the second question, um, are you available for a quick call this week or next week? Uh, I leave the choice to you here. It's too much uh, sentence and it's too much uh, choices, actually. So I will narrow it down to the day of sending plus three days, for example, excluding weekends. That's, that way, actually, you just leave one choice and that's it. And the, the, the prospect just has to, to choose between yes or no, do I want to talk with him or not? And this is the only goal that you want. So the, for the last insight, if you are in the same country, the good thing is really to mention names of other clients that you have uh, and that you helped. Uh, because if it's in the same industry, uh, the prospect will really trust you uh, with that. Uh, and it's really important. Actually, in my uh, experience with our clients and with Grossroom, uh, when we are doing just for ourselves, 
uh, cold emailings that are working the most are cold emailings where we are mentioning uh, uh, clients that we have in the same industry. Yeah, okay, completely agree with you, Sasha. This email definitely leaves you feeling like, oh, I have to do homework. I have to tell you my <laughs> marketing strategy. I have to choose a date. I have to do so many things because you just asked. So, okay, I know that you also did homework and you prepared a new version of this email. Can you introduce us to that, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, so I just read it down. Uh, it's not perfect, but here is what the, the email that, that I, would, uh, I would write. So, hello, first name, icebreaker. It was really interesting. However, I think you already noticed that in the sector industry, cost per lead increased by 43% last year. I own a zero loss agency in Denmark, meaning if we do not perform for your business, we'll simply refund our fee. We helped company one in the same industry, company two in the same industry, maybe company three in the, in the same industry, in their acquisition with an average uh, return on investment of 6.47%. Would love to tell you how we can do the same for company. Are you available for a quick meeting today plus three days? Have a great day, signature. Okay, perfect. This is definitely a change from the first one. Why do you think this one performs better than the first email? I think it's working because uh, we have the icebreaker and we have also the context. For example, uh, we are mentioning the crisis, but also the cost per lead that is increasing. Um, so it's really interesting for the for the prospects that uh, uh, to, to show that we know the context of his company. Uh, the second one is that we put only one question, so he doesn't he has he doesn't have the choice actually. He just have to answer the last question and that's it. Uh, the third, uh, uh, the third insight is about the, the clients in the same sector, uh, in the same industry. As I told you, it's really uh, important for the trust. And uh, uh, last but not least, only one question, but also no other choice for the call. Uh, that way, they can only say yes or no uh, to my uh, to, to my availability. And if they don't, if they are not available for this uh, for this date, they can obviously answer. And now you have the, the conversation. It's always better to converse. Okay, great, Sasha. Thank you so much for this insights. And thank you so much for coming over. If anybody out there wants their cold email to also be analyzed by our team of experts, you can just fill out the form below in the description. And also, if you want Sasha to help you out in your outbound strategies, you can find all his info below, including his LEM call. So thank you so much, Sasha. See you the next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.